To that end, we've uh, continued the mobilization that began at President Trump's direction early this year. We increased testing uh, from a standing start in the month of February to now. As of today, we've completed more than 170 million tests, and we continue to approve new tests, including an at-home test that the FDA just recently approved. And we're distributing more than 150 million Binax tests to, to schools and nursing homes around America as we speak. Uh, our mobilization of supplies, you will hear described in great detail, continues to surge each and every day. We actually are able to track PPE and supplies on a hospital-by-hospital -hospital basis. And so we're carefully monitoring, we're working with state officials, with hospital administrators to make sure that our hospitals have the support they need. Also, as we gather, more than 140 clinical trials for therapeutics continue to be underway, but effective therapies are already available that are widely known among the American people. And for those over the age of 70, um, we're proud to report that we actually have decreased the fatality rate uh, by more than 70 percent uh, since those heartbreaking days of April. In May of this year, of course, as the President spoke last week in the Rose Garden, uh, we launched Operation Warp Speed, focusing on accelerating the development, the manufacture, and the distribution of a safe and effective vaccine. And you'll have an update today on the progress from uh, two of our leading experts and those that are coordinating Operation Warp Seed. What I want to say in the midst of all of this to the American people as we begin this briefing is that with the, with the massive increase in testing over the last 10 months, with PPE and medical supplies and equipment that are available to the American people, with the medicines and the therapeutics, and very soon the vaccines that are available, America has never been more prepared to combat this virus than we are today. But our pledge to each and every American looking on today is we're going to work around the clock to keep it that way.